Um, my name is Lynn, and we are the Ace of Hobos. And go ahead and introduce yourself. Individually, I am David, Kathy, Brian, Ian, Karis, Cole, Mary, Craig, Jerry, Doug, Anuj, Rachel, Sam, Paris. All right, and so tonight we are going to be performing short form improv for you. Short form means that we're going to be doing a series of games. And improv, for those of you who don't know, means that everything you see here tonight is unscripted, unrehearsed. You're going to see it as it enters our brain and comes out our mouths. So wish us luck. Um, all right. Now, um, one of the really important things about improv is you, the audience. Because we're going to rely on all of you to give us ideas and prompts for the different games that we play. So in order to warm you up and get you guys ready to give us some suggestions, I'm going to count to three. On the count of three, I'd like you to yell out your name. One, two, three. Cheers! Very good. Okay, we've got a good audience. All right, let's do one more warm up. This time I'm not going to count to three. I'm just going to ask you to yell something out. Okay. Yell out your favorite color. is called Story Story Doc. And what we're going to do is we're going to tell a story for you one person at a time. You are going to be very important in this because not only are you going to give us the name of the story, but you are going to have a very important role in helping us adopt this. So I'm going to conduct the, get the game by pointing to people. When I point to someone, they need to come in right away. They need to finish as smoothly as possible the other person's sentence, stay in character voice if, if that's appropriate, and your job is to listen carefully, and if they blow it, you yell out, die. And then, the fun part, they will come up and you get to choose how they die. They will ask you for um, some method of death, and then they will perform it for you. And please, be as merciless as you need to be because we have a lot of people we need to get off stage. <laughs> All right. I'm going to uh, be a seated conductor. And we need a, some help from the audience. Kathy, Cole, Jerry, Rachel, Karen, Craig. All right. We need the name of the story. The name of the story. Just whatever comes to mind. My first date. Perfect. All right. The Ace of Hobos now presents my first date. Oh, I was so nervous. I couldn't believe that Patricia would actually go out with me. I mean, I'm just this short, greasy Italian... Mother. That's <laughs> really good to tell. Die. wants to be there. And I was just so nervous to meet Patricia and her mother because she also came on the date. I couldn't believe that she would bring her two two-year-olds with her also. I mean on a date how inappropriate is that? I didn't care that it was to Disneyland. I wanted her to have sex with me. Right then and there. <laughs> Season of the year when I'm back. Summer the heat. <laughs> the light. Oh my god. Chapter three. Okay. Can't do nothing about it. All right. Chapter three. 
I need um, some idea of something you'd like to happen. Things take a terrible turn for the worse. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Patricia's mother said, we must go on It's a Small World after all. I haven't seen that since I was two. And I wonder if it's changed since then. In fact, I still wonder if that penguin from Argentina is there. He never wrote me back. And <laughs> I think I want to take the two-year-olds on the ride as well, but I'm not sure if they can fit on the ride. I'm just going to sneak them on anyways. <laughs> and when I sneak them on, I'm afraid that the Disneyland police are going to just take us right off the car and kill us. <laughs> I said, that's pretty likely. But bring them on anyways. It doesn't matter. That's our first date. I don't care. I really want to impress you, so sorry. I'm talking too much. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> It's a small world, even though the security be my letters. But still, it's just in a pro <laughs> <laughs> May I have something that you can find in a school? A pencil. A pencil. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. Oh yeah. In the sky. Stars. A blimp. A blimp. Yeah. Unicorn. I like blimp. Unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> wee -wee. Amber alert. Two kids gone missing on It's a Small World. Please call this number immediately. <laughs> Said the blimp. And. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I was so nervous. The kids were lost. I mean, they were in the teacup. And then they just flew out of it. And somebody came out and. I said to Patricia, Die. <laughs> about a medical condition? AIDS. How <laughs> about a medical Hilarious. condition? A zip. A zip. A zip. A zip. A zip. A zip. Wait, somebody said a zip. Okay. Uh, <laughs> isn't there a name, What's this? All right, let's see. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. No, wait, there's one here. All right, I'm going to trick. I'm going to hit this one. I'm going to hit this one. What's 
something you wish you were immune to? Poison ivy. Ghosts. Poison ivy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, over here. No, seriously, I've been here before. It's really awesome. What, that? Oh, no, no, it's just a bunch of sticks and leaves. No, no, seriously, it's not a big trap. See, check it out. and someone else will tap one out and be a part of that scene. like a one, a two, a three, okay? A four, a five, a six, okay. a seven, an eight, and nine, and that's it. Did you go this way? Is that where you went? I think so. Did you go? I think oh my god. So. What, did you, what did he do to you? Oh god, god. Oh, you what hurt me. Oh my god. Oh, god. Please, 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 please. Yeah, two months. Two months to live? <laughs> no, two months to die. <laughs> Freeze! <laughs> Let me give you my voice, and you shall be saved. <clears throat> Nothing. Luke, I am your... That's right. What, what, what are you, my boys? <laughs> this is not Star Wars. <coughs> okay, pop it out, pop it out. Oh, okay. Great. <laughs> <Rain. laughs> it's going to be very painful moving from this position. Because we're in the shop window and all these people are looking at us. <laughs> Freeze! <laughs> 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 
tell me, Master, what to do. I am your robot. You are uh, not. I am also a robot. <laughs> <laughs> we are no free. <laughs> Why are you standing so close to me? Because there's a really oh, interesting wait, no, cavity. No, don't back. touch! Oh, I'm sensitive, I know. Can That's you back up two feet, please? Well, Thank it's you. very difficult for me to do a procedure for extraction. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> if you want, let me in. Please, please. please. Save me. <laughs> oh, my savior, my savior! I feel <laughs> And the next time you disobey me, this fist will hit your head! <laughs> You're a cruel master. You're a cruel master. I'm very cruel. Very Easy. cruel. both know it. <laughs> Breathe down. Alright, I see the way you're looking at him, 
and it's making him a little uncomfortable. So maybe you should tone it down a little bit. He can just come to my class. Can you come in and tell me how to treat my children? Okay. I'm just here to help you. I'm a very experienced teacher. This is an intervention, and you don't need to take it personally. But we've had several reports of you looking in the eye a little too closely. I, I, I just I care a lot about my children. He stared at him okay. until he cried. Listen, if anything, I'm guilty of caring too much, okay? You made me cry! Look, <laughs> lies! Lies! Uh, All of you! Yeah. Of course it is! Genetic engineering! <laughs> and I'm Steve Moonbeam, and this is the Genetic Engineering Hour. Let's bring in an expert, uh, genetic engineer, Ronnie Smith. Mr. Smith, you are uh, the foremost genetic engineer in the field, from what I understand. Can you tell us how you ascended to that height? It was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> A big O. Explosion happened. And then, after the fallout, I decided to study genetics. Well, the best things in life are accidents. Just lost my first wife! <laughs> 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 Orange. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Research. Shows. <laughs> that. Powder. Or liquid. Is. Genetically. Non. Uh, attractive. <laughs> or Doritos. That. Doritos. <laughs> Junk. Food. Clearly, <laughs> Dr. Smith has been spending a lot of time with his subjects. Uh, Dr. Smith, one final word of wisdom, if you will. If you had to tell the crowd just one thing they needed to know about genetic engineering, what would that be? Eat. Naturally. If. You. Want. To. But. Live. But. <laughs> Please. Don't. Eat. Doritos. <laughs>
I look at a lot of employee type people. I bet you do. As a tooth doctor. Okay. Oh. Um, and I apologize. Okay. I didn't know. I'm not a hoe. <laughs> Your ticket. 
And actually, a ticket to love. Oh! Great game for you all coming up next. First things first, a great into the audience participation. We need you to pick which one of us will step outside. Done. Doug. Doug. I need to explain the game. <laughs> I'm gonna step outside. I will explain the game first. The way this game works, this is called Who Am I? One person will step outside, and while they're outside, the other three, Mary, will step outside. The other three will get from the audience a character, an item of clothing, and a location. And this person who left the room will not know any of these things, but it's up to us to, through context, the magic of context, we will try to get Mary to guess all three of the things. So first, can I have a character? Captain Planet. Captain Planet. Captain Planet. Can I have an article of clothing that high heels. Captain Planet will be wearing? Captain Planet in high heels. Can I have a location? Will Smith Swinger Party. Swinger Party. So we have coming into this game, Captain Planet wearing high heels. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and when she gets close, help her out, give her a little snaps. When she gets close, she gets it. Go all out. Go all out. Is she wrong? She's wrong, just laugh at it. <laughs> Miss Universe, you know. 
Yeah. I mean, I mean, it'll be, I know. I mean, before things get get wild, before they get wild, wild. Yeah. <laughs> I just gotta, just gotta ask you one thing. What's that? How do you get your skin like that? Well, the movie producers usually just put yeah, it you're on. You're going to be popular tonight. Definitely. Can I offer you? Can I offer you this person? Can I offer you this person? Maybe. Wow. Or maybe. Or maybe this. We can go in. We can go in one of the rooms. You know, they have like special music and you know. We should talk to the men in black. Okay. I I have no idea. Okay. I would love to go anywhere that you want me to go because I. I mean, I mean, do you have the fire? Okay. I made some fresh prints of it.
Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see who this is. Hi, uh, just the mailman making a 9 p.m. delivery. Like oh, I do. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Can I switch you to my wife? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I wanted to tell you about all these Netflix titles you ordered. Oh, this yeah. Right. yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Look, mm -hmm. Independence Day, that's a good one. <laughs> Wild Wild West. Wild Wild West. <laughs> yeah, I mean, great well, hey, yeah. thank you. Yeah. So what I'm gonna need from you is for the first pair is an occupation. Stripper. Stripper. Right, love it. So stripper for these two. And for this two. And for this two, I added a relationship, mother, son. It's complicated on Facebook. It's complicated on Facebook. I'm not sure if everyone gets the reference. Any other like more conventional relationship? Raise your hand if you're confused. My face. Okay. 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 I don't know I what that is. Okay. You're okay with that? All right. And for our last pair, um, an object that you would find in a uh, at a murder scene. Tape. Tape. A body. Yeah, like a gun. Tape. Passion tape. Passion tape. Passion tape. Okay. I heard fashion tape, so I'm going to go with that. <laughs> Alright. So it looks like um, two bullet wounds to the head, um, lots of around the area, because I like to call it Yeah. But, uh, uh, Sergeant Jones, I think that we're going to need to look the body. We're going to need to excavate the bullets. And get the reward. Mm -hmm. And what are we going to do with them when we take them to the ward? We're going to strip them and then excavate them. <laughs> Excavate him more, and then he'll be oh, ready to go on stage. Okay? That's so I, I, these are some perfect examples of talent for this strip club I'm opening. And I need you to help me recruit them. Recruit? Okay? Recruit them. Yes. I need you. To whoa, 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 whoa. Recruit, not like work there. Um, uh oh. Let me back up. You would be a great, great stripper. <laughs> Let me back up. You would be a great, great stripper. <laughs> But maybe we should just be friends? <laughs> John, I'm, I'm checking Facebook right now, and you just changed your status to It's Complicated. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I would be a good stripper, and I would be a good girlfriend. I would be a good stripper, and I would be a good girlfriend. Okay, yes. you're a great girlfriend already. <laughs> and, you know, I just think. You know, we don't need to change anything at this point. I mean, I thought you liked me. Um, you sent me flowers for Valentine's Day, and <laughs> we had a pretty nice day after I was in the coroner's office. <laughs> it, was very, it was very, I mean, the, the smell of formaldehyde, <laughs> intoxicating, don't blood everywhere, but the vibrant color of red blood, Jones. It's just, I don't know if I'm ready to take it to the next level in the coroner's office. I mean, I don't know if I'm ready to take it to the next level in the coroner's office. You're just not adventurous enough. That's why you need me at the club. I, can I, take just, it to I just wouldn't feel comfortable with anyone else's money touching your underwear. I just <laughs> wouldn't feel comfortable with anybody else's money touching your underwear. That being said, I'm not sure we're like exclusive. <laughs> <You know? laughs> okay, I, I get that. I get that. Um, but I, I think that we could we could work it out. You know, I mean, I, when we were making love, you uh -huh. you said I love you, um, which is when I changed my status immediately to in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I was excited. It was post I said a lot of things I didn't mean. You know, just the juices flowing, the dead bodies everywhere. Sergeant Jones, Sergeant Jones, as your warden, your badge, please. Your badge. Thank you. 
your gun. Oh, I know you like that thing. Pulling the trigger, man. Your gun. I know you like that thing, or whatever you call it. Pulling the trigger. <laughs> that was all nice and stuff. I mean, I I felt like we were vibing, Joseph. I thought we were vibing, Joseph. I mean, we I were. I thought we were vibing, Joseph. 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 <laughs> It's called Foreign Film. Uh, we're going to have a scene taking place up here in a, some random language that you probably don't understand and we probably don't know, so it's all going to be gibberish. Um, but to help you see what's happening in the scene, we have a couple translators. We've got lovely Parrish over here and the lovely Sam over here, minus her wisdom teeth. So please forgive her if uh, her face is not up. So Lynn and I will be uh, acting out a scene in a foreign language, and that language is going to be Ugandan. 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 That scares me because I have no idea what it sounds like, but I'm going to go for it. Um, and then we need also a uh, a conflict that just took place. You ran over a dog. Ran over a dog. All right. <laughs> Ran over my dog. I've been trying to get you to notice me for three weeks. My baby, my poor baby. Do you know how expensive the puppy is going to be that you have to replace this with? <laughs> in opposite order and go back through the scenes um, until we get back to the first scene. 
So can we, can I please have um, an object you would find in your office? A stapler. Zoom, zoom, zoom.
<laughs> April 4th and the 11th, I believe. And you guys can come out and audition and have as much fun as we did or more. And again, we are the Ace of Polos. Thank you so much for coming out. And